everyone, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is gonna be my fall TBR slash October one. Dear to year is approaching very, very fast and I have a lot of reading challenges that I am trying to achieve. So I have a lot of books that I'm trying to catch up to. So very, very long TBR, so let's go through it. Let's start with a few mystery horror thrillers since I tend to read them the most during the fall. I feel like it's just very much appropriate. So the first one is... <laughs> the Deep by Nick Cutter. I also have this book as an audiobook. That's why I'm starting with this one. It's the one I should be starting next. I'm probably going to go flip around and see. If I don't like the audiobook, I'll just stick to the physical book. I do try to mix it up a little bit. And I have heard nothing but great slash horrible things about this book. Apparently this author tends to write a very dark book. Kind of hoary one, I guess. From what I understand, there's a strange plague, which... <laughs> happening uh, where people start forgetting things. That's literally all I know and I don't want to know more because I do prefer going into these kind of books pretty blind. But yes, I thought it was not only appropriate for the season but also for 2020. So <laughs> the first book on my TBR. I have another book by him on my shelf so if I do really love it I could always get around to reading that one. One that has been on my shelf for way too long that is apparently a pretty quick read and I believe it is considered why. So I haven't read a lot of YA books I feel like this year so I wanted to give a shot to this one and it is with Malice by uh, Aileen Cook. And this one, if I remember, see in the back it says two friends, an exotic foreign location, the potential for jealousy and revenge, and an accident that looks like it might have been a murder. So yes, it seems like it should be a pretty quick read. I feel like I like to binge read mystery thrillers right now. So uh, yes, yeah, like 300 pages. It's written pretty big. So I think I could get around to reading it. I feel like I used to see it all over booktube and I just never got around to reading it. So I really love that cover too. So second book on my TBR. One of the only books that I've purchased recently is this one. This is The Girl from Widow Hill by Megan Miranda. I have read two of her other books and they've been pretty solid uh, mystery thrillers. So I decided to try her newest book, A Shot. It came out this year, very recently. So uh, I'm definitely wanting to try that one too. And I feel like every single of her books have that 3D effect with water drops. <laughs> I find it so appealing. I don't know what is wrong with me, but yes, uh, <laughs> the book I'm looking forward to reading. I'm also curious to see if I'm going to notice uh, similarities between the two of the books that I've uh, read by her because both of them had, uh, the author tended to play with timelines, so maybe she will in that one too. I have a few that I will be getting from the library either as ebook or audiobook. So the first one for that is My Sister the Serial Killer. Actually, you're going to notice uh, quite a few of these are part of my Goodreads reading challenge if you don't know. It's my second year doing it. I tried to read a bunch of the winner or runner up for uh, the Goodreads Choice Award and then I do my own award show at the end of November, hence the long list of books on my TBR right now. I'm trying to catch up. I'm realizing the end of the year is here and I need to just catch up. So yes, that one was part of the uh, mystery thriller section. So hoping to read that one. So I believe that's it for the mystery thrillers. Now it's just random other genre. So I have Normal People, which I've been meaning to read literally all year. Uh, this one is part of the fiction category, I believe. I feel like the reviews have been all over the place. It's one of those uh, sections that I'm not sure if I want to do uh, that section again next year. So it's going to be like my giving it a last shot type of thing. So if I enjoy it, I will try to uh, include that category again next year. If not, I might just skip it. But yes, the reviews have been a little bit all over the pl place. Uh, there's also like a ask again or something. So let me know actually in between the two which one was the best one. I'll pick that one to try and read. I'm finally hoping to get around to reading Gideon the Night, which see, I finally learned how to pronounce it in English. <laughs> I kept saying it in French. To be fair, it sounds very fancy in French by saying Gideon, but yeah, uh, that one, which is a uh, fantasy book, I believe. I feel like it had been described to me as like lesbian necromancer, which <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Do you prefer when I keep my reading challenges a surprise or when I mention them? Let me know. But uh, this month I'm hoping to do a vlog for like giving a last chance slash second chance to authors. So there are two books that uh, I will give an author a second chance slash last chance to impress me. Uh, so I picked two different books to do this. The first one is The Starless Sea by Morgan Morganston. Morganstern. Uh, she's the author of The Night Circus, which I read like three years ago, I think. It had been raved about so much on booktube that I finally got around to reading it and I was kind of disappointed. I did like the writing, but like I felt like first off the ending was a huge letdown and just the overall story just didn't really vibe with me. So uh, it was her only book and she finally came uh, out with The Starless Sea. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot just because of all the hype. But so far the reviews I feel like have been pretty mixed, but 
and still, you know, giving it a last chance. And then I'm also going to be giving a chance, a last chance, I should say, to the author of Aragorn, which I can't remember his name right now. I'll put it on screen. Uh, the new book that he came out with is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars, which is going to be, which is uh, an adult uh, sci-fi instead of being a YA um, fantasy. So, so far the reviews have actually been pretty positive. It is a pretty thick book, but I am hoping I will have chance, a chance to get around to reading it this month so I can do that vlog and just let you know. So yeah, basically two authors that I will be trying one more time just to see if I am done forever with them or not. So yes, let me know again if you want to not know these challenges. In the <laughs> so yeah, that's my challenge for October. Uh, what else do I want to read? I'm realizing as always that my TBR is super excessive, but we're calling it fall. So it's like October, November. Uh, I do want to read Hyperion by Dan Simmons. Um, it has been on my list for literally ever. I'm hoping to uh, try to read I've been trying to read a bunch of really like classic, super popular sci-fi and so far it's been really hit and miss, but this one is so hyped. Everyone seems to give it five stars, so I'm looking forward to reading it. Hopefully I will enjoy it too. Speaking of challenges that I'm trying to catch up to, uh, in the beginning of the year, I did the 20 books I want to read in 2020. A bunch of these books were books that I thought I was going to give five stars to. My year didn't go quite <laughs> the way I thought it was going to go. I mean, I feel like we all <laughs> feel the same. Uh, so I feel like I read a lot less than I usually do, but one I'm still hoping to get around to reading is City of Stairs by Robert Jackson Bennett. I have read Fundry Side by him earlier this year, was kind of disappointed. So I feel like I've been pushing back reading this trilogy, but uh, so many people I enjoy uh, watching and reading uh, on Goodreads or reviews, they love it. So. I'm still hoping to getting around to reading it this year. It will happen eventually, but hopefully this year. <laughs> oh, I forgot one uh, mystery thriller actually. Let's go with that one, The Dead Zone by um, Stephen King. I I took a little break, I feel like, for Stephen King. I read like a bunch of his books when I first started my channel. I actually did a video reviewing uh, all the books that I had read by him so far. And uh, earlier this year, I made you vote between a couple of books, uh, which one I should be adding to my yearly TBR, you know, for the challenge. And this is the one that most people voted for. So I shall be reading, hopefully, The Dead Zone uh, this fall. If I have time, I would love to get around to reading The Wise Men's Fear by Patrick. Patrick Rothfuss. Um, I read finally The Name of the Wind. I want to continue reading uh, this trilogy slash at this point, but uh, the second book at least, I'm a little nervous just because so many people told me that I wasn't going to enjoy it, but you might all be wrong. I might still love it. So if I have time, definitely want to read that one too. See, I feel like every time I have a list of books I want to read, but then when I say that whole list on camera, I'm realizing it's very long and very excessive. But here we are. <laughs> Ooh, one uh, nonfiction I'm hoping to read this fall is Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs, which is also part of my Goodreads reading challenge. I think it's in the nonfiction section. I don't even know what it is about, but I know the author, I believe it's a YouTuber, and uh, she has come out with a few different books, and this one was the one uh, that won that category, so I'm trying to get around to reading it. I actually, at this point, I don't even want to know what it is about. I just want to go into it blind, and I'm very much hopeful I will enjoy it as much as everyone else, obviously, if it won. I would love to also get a chance to read a Midnight, Demon Knight library by Matt Egg. One of the books I've been looking forward to reading the most this year. My library doesn't have it at the moment, but I'm hoping they will acquire it. I did, did, did ask for it, you know, suggest that, that they buy it. So I'm hoping that they will so I can get around to reading it. Uh, the premise just seems super interesting. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, this woman ends up in this library between life or death and she kind of sees like all the books are basically all the lives she could have lived type of thing, which yes, please. So uh, definitely uh, looking forward to reading that one. Same thing with A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. This was also something I wanted to, I was thinking about including in my like giving a second chance to the author, but currently my library doesn't have it. So I'm not going to put it on that, uh, in that vlog, unless maybe if they get it like now type of thing. Uh, but yes, it's a uh, magical school setting, which yes, please. It's just that I was disappointed by uprooted by her. So ugh, we'll see, but uh, I definitely want to try it. It's a little ambitious, but I feel like at this point, all my TBRs tend to be when I'm not in a slump. I feel like I was reasonable when I was feeling in a slump, but the slump is gone and I have so many books that I want to read. I'm super excited once again with the end of the year. I feel like I tend to read more mystery thrillers, which if you have any recommendations, actually, please let me know. Actually, reminds me, uh, 
Ruth Ware is coming out, I don't know if it's out yet, one by one, her newest book. I might try to get my hands on that one again if my library gets it. <laughs> but if you have read any of these, uh, let me know because I definitely want to, to know. The other ones too, obviously. So uh, yes, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed my ridiculous TBR. Thumbs up, subscribe. I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out. And I shall see you in my next video very soon. Bye.